Hey there, my name is Vinod and today I'm going to present you on how to access the DB2 for ZOS table from the developer tool. So when you create uh, any Informatica domain and create an Informatica model repository service, uh, you have an option to create a, a lot of objects from the databases like Oracle, DB2, and uh, SQL Server, and ODBC. But if you want to access a DB2 for ZOS table, uh, from the developer tool. The first prerequisite is to install the Power Exchange client because the only way the Informatica developer tool can access the table is using the Power Exchange client. So when you actually go to the Informatica developer tool, um, this is Informatica developer tool and if you go to the connections tab, you would find a lot of uh, options for you like if you scroll down through the databases you would see a DB2 for ZOS and then uh, Oracle, ODBC and whatever it is. So basically if you want to access the table from this connection so what you got to do is um, you need to create a connection first and then I've already done one so I'm just going to show you how it looks like. So when you edit it you can name the connection and you need to go to the data access part and you need to provide the username and password and for the corresponding DB2 subsystem ID you need to provide that name and the location name as well. So that is a way for you to do a test connection as well from here. So when you do that basically uh, it will tell you whether the connection is successful or a failure. So as you can see here the connection is successful. So all these connections work uh, based on the power exchange client install on the developer tool. So basically what you have to do as a prerequisite is when you actually uh, so the first prerequisite is to install the power exchange client and basically you can access the uh, uh, download link from actually uh, uh, community study informatica.com when you log in there you would find up uh, a username and password and then all those uh, power exchange client install so you, you got to download according to your uh, uh, platform for example if informatica developer tool version is 951hf3 you need to install the power exchange 951hf3 or higher version but not the lower version so that's a, a catch here I've already installed the power exchange client and that's the reason my developer tool was able to successfully do a test connection so when you install the power exchange client you would see uh, from the Windows Explorer you would see uh, something like this the power exchange 951 and the main thing is when you install the power exchange client it should be added to the path like you see from the command here so I'm gonna type the environment variable set and you would see here the path variable has updated with um, the power exchange for client um, path see Informatica Power Exchange 951 because what happens is when you access uh, when you do any interaction with the DB2 ZOS connection from the developer tool um, the access is going to be through this Power Exchange client so if this path is not available and the developer tool is not able to find this path it will throw some sort of errors so the prerequisite is you need to install the Power Exchange client and make sure the path variable is updated correctly and now I'm going to show you from the developer tool how to make a connection to the DB2 for ZOS database and pull up the table and import and create it as a physical data object. So I'm connected to the model repository service. So I'm going to create a new project, something like um, a DB2 ZOS test. Once it is done, I'm going to go to the new and then I'm going to create a data object and then I need to choose the relational ob data object because even though it's a DB2 ZOS table we should categorize that as a relational data object because we do import that using the databases connection. So I'm gonna uh, uh, make use of the already uh, created connection with this FF new connection so this is connection to the DB2 for ZOS database. So I'm gonna click on OK and then when I click on the browse tab so I should be able to see the schema or the default schema so that I can navigate through which table I wanted. So as you can see I have seen a lot of tables here or a lot of schemas so I'm gonna choose my schema so um, and I'm gonna browse, the, browse through the tables which I want to get imported into the developer tool. So I'm going to import fv, fb underscore fun underscore dsc. Then click on OK. 
so when I click on the finish yep so now the table uh, got imported into the developer tool so now using this table I can create any kind of a physical data object so I'm sorry the physical data object is already created so using this uh, physical data object now you can go ahead and create a logical data object and uh, a mapping or a SQL data service and make use of this table anywhere so this is just a client interaction on how to import the metadata uh, from specifically from a db 2 zos into the developer tool and once any any kind of a mapping or a logical data object is built on top of this physical data object so when you actually run it at the runtime i need to make sure the power exchange server is installed and then uh, because the data integration service is going to use uh, the power exchange connection to talk to the db 2 zos database so today um, you have seen how to uh, uh, import the db 2 zos table from using the developer tool and then I've, I've shown you how to navigate and to make a connection to the db 2 zos database and then how to access the table and create a physical data object so we would love to hear from you if you have any kind of a feedback please email us at supportvideos at informatica.com and you can tweet us at the following twitter account as well Thank you very much for listening. Have a wonderful day.